As we entered Goldsmiths University in the opening weekend of November, I found it hard to believe that we were back here again so soon. What a crazy 18 months it has been. But nope, here we are, back on campus, trying to figure out how to make this work all over again. 42. <laughs> Hey, I'm Matthias Ivonsmeyer. I'm one of the organizers for the AI and Games conference. Yeah, hello. I'm Luigi Chakmark. Uh, I'm one of the other organizers of the AI and Games conference. Um, actually, when we first started last year... Um, we met at GDC for the yes, first time. Yes, right? yes, we met at GDC yeah. and we were talking about like, oh, you know, we really need something in Europe and it has been so long that we don't actually have any AI dedicated conference, so. As Dugu said, when we kicked things off in 2024, there wasn't any other event like this in Europe. Creating a new event on AI in the video games industry at this time is a tough nut to crack. With so much hype in the space and many an individual or organization keen to showcase tech that feels antithetical to our ambitions as game developers, we wanted to do something that we felt our community needed. So Dugu, Matthias and I, alongside Gabriel Robert and Alan Zaccone, were adamant that whatever we build sticks to our principles of valuing expertise over hype, placing an emphasis on the experience of people rather than product, and bringing the European game AI community together again after so many years. And from the moment we wrapped on the 2024 AI and Games Conference, we'd set our sights not just on bringing it back for 2025, but to try and outdo ourselves. We were really proud of how things went in our first year, and we'd set ourselves a fairly ambitious task for this year. Build on what we delivered into something larger, while retaining the spirit and vibe of what we had. And a huge part of last year was just figuring out how to even do something like this. Not just in putting on an event, but ensuring it hit the quality and standards we aspired to. This year, I felt we had to prove not just to the game development community, but to ourselves that we could do this all over again. Doubling the event to two days, bringing in the very best of the sector to showcase their work, and to ensure it continues to be an accessible and relevant venue for people who work in game AI. And I gotta be honest, I think we pulled it off. So yeah, it's Sunday. The AI and Games Conference has not started yet for 2025, but this is where the bulk of our work begins. We're gonna make sure, so we're here in the great, the, grand, the great Hall, Grand Hall, I always forget which one it is, in the university at Goldsmiths. We've moved into this space this year, because last year it was pretty packed, right? You may have saw that in the footage from last year's event. We wanted to move into this space, so there's places for people to have meetings, people to grab coffee, and, and just kind of mingle and hang out with each other. Plus, we've also got the big stage here where I'll be giving the introduction tomorrow. So a lot of this is just setting this space up, making sure that we are, feel, we are feeling good about it. But the other thing we're doing is we have two tracks with speakers, and we want to make sure that the rooms are configured, all the IT checks are sorted out, and critically, our speakers, who are up hanging out over there right now, get a chance to try their talk out in advance, make sure things are working the way they want. And this is probably the most stressful day because 100 things go wrong and 100 things have gone wrong, but we figured it out. We've also got, you know, our wonderful camera team right here are coming in and just helping us figure out all the technical challenges we've got to deal with, critically figuring out the audio issues which are happening with the AV team, all the little annoying little fiddle, fiddly bits that if we don't get it right the rest of the, the, rest of the event is, is not going to work out. So yeah, it's been a little stressful but we're getting there. I think it's good, I think it's good. Everyone's chilling, everyone's hanging out, everyone's having a good time. I'm going to have another drink and hopefully calm my nerves but yeah, it's coming together and this place is going to be a heck of a lot busier uh, come about 9am tomorrow morning. So uh, yeah, fingers crossed it all goes well for the rest of the day. Woo! Everybody, hello. Can I just quickly say hello for a second? First of all, we're here. Oh my goodness, hi, if we haven't met yet. So yes, hello, if we haven't met yet. I'm Tommy Thompson, this is the AI and Games Conference 2020. You might recognize the voice, um, maybe not so much the face. Uh, we're just getting ready, we're just setting everything up, fighting with all the technical challenges that you get when you're trying to put everything together. But critically, it's so great to have you here, supporting us in what we're trying to do, putting this event together. I'm absolutely stoked for all the talks that are coming in. It's gonna be an amazing couple of days. And so critically, first and foremost, thank you so much for your enthusiasm, energy, patience, and in some cases, your money. Um, <laughs> grab a drink, we've got a few more uh, non-alcoholic options on the way, but 
if I haven't had a chance to chat with you, I'll make sure to come by and say hello. Thanks again for being here. And yeah, welcome to the AI Games Conference. I hope you survived the experience. <laughs> And then tomorrow morning, we'll start with the great talks. Like, we have a great program this year. I'm really looking forward to all of the talks. Yeah, but one of the problems that I have, though, there are two rooms, right? And unfortunately, I'm going to miss, like, half of the talks. And uh, it's really difficult to choose, at least for me. But they are all on YouTube afterwards. Oh, yeah, right. We need to, this time, get Tommy to uh, rush editing so oh, that yeah. we have them really quickly so i mean we would help but tommy doesn't allow us to help cutting videos this is his, his thing right yeah so. to, to be honest i don't <laughs> trust myself to cut them Fair anyways <laughs> hmm it's amazing the stuff you find when the recording team sends you over the video footage afterwards i don't know about you lot but i think we've just found our new video editors for 2026 but thankfully we ironed out all the kinks even the ones threatening us like 20 minutes before we started on monday and we delivered the goods over 30 presentations across two days from the leading experts in the sector, bringing together game AI programmers, academic researchers, leading innovators, and some additional outside expertise in areas of investment and legal. There really is no other event like this at the moment. I mean, it's, it's why we built it, to be just like this. For a little bit of inside baseball, in order to set a quality bar for the talks last year, we went out and curated a lot of the presentations by reaching out to our contacts in the games industry. We really wanted to cement the quality bar that we wanted to hit. We were then spoiled when we had an open call when the likes of Gorilla and Saber Interactive came along to present as well. And so this year, we tried the opposite, trusting that the bar we set last year was sufficiently high enough that submissions this year would follow suit and hit that quality bar. This year, we saw over 70 talks submitted to us of which we approved around 35% of them. But man, was it a tough call. We were spoiled again this year, as we didn't just have repeat speakers from last year with new ideas, but studios who'd watched from afar or attended without speaking in 2024 decided it was their turn to present at 2025. And we are indebted to all of our speakers. Again, thank you so much to all of them, because without them, we don't have an event. I mean, I'm sure we could all turn up and it would be a good laugh, but still, these people are the stars. That's who our attendees are paying to see. And to recap, we had the likes of CD Projekt Red talk about designing encounters in Cyberpunk 2077, Warhorse Studios highlighting NPC systems in Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, Unknown Worlds talking about behavior tree design in Subnautica 2, we had EA on AI for playtesting in NHL 26, Ubisoft came along to discuss both Avatar Frontiers of Pandora and Assassin's Creed Shadows, and Riot discussing how they use machine learning in their productions. All this plus research in AI for accessibility, explainable AI for content generation, and exploring how large language models can be utilized in practical, sensible, and ethical ways. But regardless of the talks themselves, one of the most valuable aspects of all this is just getting people in the same space, getting them networking, getting them chatting, discussing ideas, meeting new people, catching up with old friends, and everything else besides. I mean, look at this. How awesome is that? to be bringing people together. I still pinch myself at times when I think that what started as me bumbling into this year microphone, making half-baked video essays, has led to some of the brightest and best of our sector coming together. Even though we've set our sights as a European event, we're bringing in speakers and attendees from all over the world. It's amazing not just to have people whose work we talked about on the YouTube channel over the years now attend, but equally, people who started watching AI and games as they entered the industry are now presenting their work. It's super cool, but it always reminds me of the standards we need to hit. I won't lie in that it makes me all rather stressed out, given I feel like we need to hit that mark. But man, there was a little moment halfway through Jeff Orkin's talk, which had a live demo in which NPCs built on Bitpart's tech stack are talking about watching my Alien Isolation videos. I was just happy. I th actually, I don't know how I felt, if I'm honest. I wasn't sure whether to laugh or cry or, or whatever. It was, it was just such a surreal moment to host a conference where one of our speakers is the guy whose work we based the very first episode of AI and Games on, only to have him then run a demo in which a joke scenario is occurring in which me and my work was the focus. It was, it was pretty out there and equally very awesome. Um, I know Jeff full well did that on purpose. 
and um, I'm, I'm grateful to him. I thought it was such a sweet moment. And personally, I'm just really glad that the Wi-Fi held up for him to run it. Now, I'm told that the talks this year continue to be great, as I said over in the feedback, but it is hard to tell given I only saw around six of them over the two days. But right now, we're pouring through the five terabytes of raw camera footage to start collating it for everyone in the new year. As I wrap up this video, I want to take a moment just to thank everyone who has supported us in bringing the AI and Games Conference back for 2025. To our speakers, our attendees, our volunteers in those very green t-shirts, all of whom are students at Goldsmiths University, and everyone else who shared their appreciation and enthusiasm for our work, be it online and everywhere else. It's the community that we have built here and the community we are building at these events that make it work. And it's important to us as a team that we continue to deliver not just an event that reflects Game AI at its best, but it delivers on what our community needs. The opportunity to exchange ideas and network and build connections that are practical, relevant and valuable. And of course, a huge thank you again to our sponsors. This year we had AWS, Creative Assembly, Havoc and Riot Games join us as our partners. Arm, Databricks and Raw Power Labs were our associate sponsors. And then also we're grateful to Exola and Bitpart AI for their support. Events such as these rely heavily on having not just the financial support of bigger players in the space to help us run this. You have no idea how expensive this was. In truth, like this year, the budget actually was over double what it cost us to run it last year, even though we only extended it by one day. But it's also about the credibility they bring, both in terms of their delegates who attend and present, but also the message it sends out to the industry when you see them on our promotional work. It shows we're not messing around. And by getting the backing of companies who either make or support some of the biggest video games in the industry, it highlights not only that we're serious about our endeavors, but that these companies see that and support that vision. Before I wrap, again, a huge thank you to all of our team who put this together. I appreciate the faith placed in me by Dugu, Gabriel, Matthias and Alan to lead the charge as we make this happen. And it's a trust I must continue to earn. Meanwhile, Shrada and Sally have been such a driving force in making this happen. In truth, they're all just a fantastic group of people to work with. While this is stressful, I mean, you can see it on my face, I think, throughout a lot of the footage, working with such a talented, excited, intelligent and empathetic group of individuals helps make it so much easier. Plus a shout out to the AV lads, to Raf and the team at Light Tone Productions who recorded everything for us, uh, to Gary who does all our photography, and just everyone else who helps us. Like, it really does take a village, and I'm so grateful to every one of them in helping us achieve that. So what's next? We'll have the recordings from the conference go live on our dedicated AI and Games conference channel in 2026. So stay tuned for that, be it to catch talks you missed on the day if you were with us, but also for everyone else out there on YouTube who couldn't make the trip over to London. Don't worry, we've got your back. As for our next steps, well, we're already working on the next steps. Heck, I've already had meetings on our rollout for 2026 and 2027 in the past two weeks. It's a little too early to say, but I'm very excited about what we're working on and what's coming your way and I can't wait to share some of our plans that we have as we continue to grow the AI and Games Conference in the future. We're done. That's it. We got to the end. AI and Games Conference 2025 is a wrap. My voice is nearly completely shot, but what an amazing two days. It's been a huge effort from us for the past year trying to figure out how to take what we did last year, figure out how to make it bigger, how to get in even more speakers, keeping that content quality leveled where it is and getting more eyes on it from across the games industry to recognize this is the place to be if you want to invest in understanding about the future of game AI. A huge thank you. Once again, they're destroying the place. We're not even finished yet. But a huge thank you to our speakers, to our sponsors, to everyone who's turned up, everyone who's engaged, everyone who's shared all our stuff on social media. Just the vibes the last two days have been phenomenal. I am so proud of what the team and I and everyone who works with us on this is able to put together. Like, we can't do this without them. I've got a coma lined up. I'm going to get into bed and go and sleep for like, I don't know, a couple of weeks, maybe a month. And then we've got to start figuring out how to do it all over again. But yeah. Um, ah, I'm, I'm so pleased. I'm so happy with how it's turned out. But yeah, let's, let's, we're going to put this one in the bag and we're going we're to go and lie down. 
Stay safe, take care, and we'll be back.